tell me when we quit Wayne, maybe we can get him back. Maybe I can save Josh Hill. Maybe we can have some new men, but we've got to have the line. The wind's not the line. And maybe we get all named back. Or can we all name him back? Well, I don't know, but we need him back. Is somebody talking to him? Do you know? Troy's, Troy's not trying to piss him off, but I think Ryan Pugh played for me at Hoover, played at Auburn, who's the OC at Troy. And Chip Lindsay, the head coach, was my offense coordinator at, at Hoover for two years. They're trying to get him They don't want to say, you know, if you don't go down there and share that one game, they off the shop. Yeah. If they say, if I'm not off, he comes here, it's probably going to be off the next, it's going to be off the shop, all that. But I'm not there when his mama calls me back. Because here, here, here's the deal now. You know, but however you think of me on this, you just be truthful with me, but I mean, Of drug raids on the damn 
I-20, they would down get drug raids and they would give me cash money from time to time from drug raids. I shit you not. I put, they probably gave me $30,000 of drug money. That is something. Is that not unbelievable? Well, we might be able to get Ashley to do that. But I'm just, there's no way to stop people on Interstate 75. Oh, I know. They make a living on it. And, and, and the bottom line, they buy police cars. They buy this. Mm -hmm. They buy that. So the Hoover police love the Hoover Buccaneers. Mm -hmm. Plain and simple. And so when I need cash money, I just call the chief police. And I'd say, hey, man, then it got to the mayor. And then the mayor, you know, was fine, too. I mean, it was like, it was like the mafia. But, but anyway, do you know what Kirby's doing at Georgia right now? You know why he's taking that pro in the way he is? I think because he's a good recruiter. He is, but why do you think he's getting these kids and keeping kids in and all that stuff? Taking care of them. So he's got a guy named Hugh Nall, who lives in Albany. Hugh is the Hugh is the guy that sort of handles things. Okay, he's the handler. Okay, so Kirby's come down and met with. The richest of the rich of Southwest Georgia, not Southeast, not Macon, Southwest where he's from. Mm -hmm. He got the richest guy in Bainbridge. He got the two richest guys in Caldwell. He's got the rich guy over here in Valdosta. Anybody's in Georgia. I wonder who he's got in Valdosta. Multi-millionaires. Now listen, do you know how much money they spend on a player when they get them? Some of them nine to hundred thousand dollars to sign. Somewhere. Nine to what? Nine to one hundred and fifty thousand to sign. Like mm. Chubbs. When Chubbs came back and Chubbs didn't go to the NFL draft, Mark Motley, it was three sixty thousand dollar donations given to Chubbs to stay in school. It was hundred and eighty thousand dollars for him to have for him to not go declare for the draft. Yeah. So but that's what Kirby does. Well, who did he learn that from? Nick Saban. I was going to say. I mean, that was going to be my next guess. See, Nick's got it made because Nick's got one guy he answers to, Paul Bear Bryant Jr. Paul Jr. is his go-to guy. Multi, multi. He's the second richest guy in Alabama. Well, the third richest guy in Alabama is the guy from the Mobile. And so, Amos Cooper. So, Amos handles all the Mobile money. Coach Bryant had that set up in the 60s, 70s. So, Mobile, where all the dirty money comes, or all around Aliceville up to the west side of the state, up around Florence, down in that in that Joe Wheeler State Park money. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, that's how Alabama handles every bit of their down So we got to find some funny money. Funny money. If we're going to do it right, we got to have some. And we had funny money over there. And how much funny money do you think we need? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, hell, it could be. 10,000 first year, it may be 15,000. I don't know who's coming and what they mean and all that shit. The they, kids, yeah, that's what they saying. They may not ask me for nothing. That's right. I don't advertise. I don't advertise. I don't want to have to. Well, I think one way, I think. The Tosh Sanders kid's coming. That five star receiver from Caldwell's coming. Yeah. She ain't asked for a dime yet. Mm -hmm. So I thought about giving her, you know, paying for her early deposits. The Sam Horns, that guy in the damn apartment, yes. that set up. Are you mm -hmm. He told me that. All right, the other right back. There's a, yeah, he said he was one with two of them, didn't he? One two of them. And he picked me a third one. He got called a day from the line back. Mm -hmm. Now, no, if you ever say I said that, I'm going to say, no, the drunk shit. I didn't know where he get that from. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to be saying that. You need to talk to Rance about Nub. I know five quarterbacks in Nub too right now. I'm a kid out of California, stood. I'm a kid out of Fanning High School in North Georgia. I'm talking to a kid from USA Academy from from Huxley, Alabama. I'm talking to the kid that's at IMG from Thomasville. Yeah. I'm talking to the kid from North Cobb in Atlanta, Alpharetta. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the five. That's the one everybody's running around That's talking about. That's the five about. that I'm talking to. Now, there was a kid that Mario Jones screwed me over. He got trying to get me set up. Kid up here down Turner County calls me one night. I'm on the phone with him talking to him. But he kept texting me. Saying, he texted me and I said, so finally, I 
I said, he called me. He called me. I said, look, brother, I, I can't, I ain't texting you now. I said, what's, what's going on? He's going to come, I want to come play for you, blah, 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 blah. You know, I can tell, I can tell if he's taping, you know, because they'll fumble around or they'll, you know, they, there's ways, as you'll know. I've been trained on that. And so, I'm sitting there listening and plus I don't stay long and I'm very generic on the phone. So I talk to him. I ain't phone him. Because if you're interested, you need to, you know, you need to reach out to Coach Mitchell and get your mother or whatever you're interested. You just need to go through administration. I know the kid. But I knew he was a pretty good player. Actually, the last week, I really felt Here's confident about all that. Ask for all. all I'm asking for y'all is to help me out with some stuff on the outside. And what I mean by that is, like, Calvin's going to take care of my family's phone bill. He's going to do that. He's got a Verizon guy that's going to just write it off. So, Dr. Casey's going to pick this up starting July 1. He's going to buy me a new phone. I'll be on the school phone bill, which protects me. Then I'll have to get phone. And Calvin's paying the bill now? No, he will. I told him, let's just all do it, you know, in June sometime. So that's going to be rough five hundred a month. Don't for your phone? School will pay for mine. Yeah. He will pay for Steph's and my three children. Ah. Uh -huh. So that's going to be rough about four hundred a month. And he's going to be an extra problem. It's going to be yeah. yeah. So that way, cause once the school pays for his phone, you see what I'm saying? Then they have rights to go to my Oh, I know. So, yeah. I told Dr. Casey, I said, Dr. Casey, you need to pay for my phone because it protects you and me. Mm -hmm. He said, how's that? I said, McCall, if they could call you and say, well, Rush is recruiting players, and you can pull up my damn phone record and show them I got a eight. Uh -huh. Well, here's his damn phone. So, but that's the best way to do it. That's how McCoy did it over there. The muscle, yeah, the you know, old Kentucky guy. He, he pretty shrewd. <laughs> but, but my point being. Forty-five hundred a month. Steph's job. 